There's a lot of stuff I need to cover today pertaining to solo leveling because there was a big announcement. For instance, we had this teaser trailer, as you can see here. We have a full article from Crunchyroll kind of covering the topic. And then we also have some of the bad to where it's very clear the series was delayed. And I'm going to talk about all of this. I'll talk about the key visuals, etc. But let's get into the overall teaser trailer first. So this is truly our first kind of glimpse at solo leveling. And this teaser trailer obviously does not really show much. There's brief little scenes here and there. It, you know, shows A1 Pictures working on it. You know, we get a little bit of the staff, you know, listings on, you know, the series of, a, you know, that's working on solo leveling. You know, we get a little bit of frames here and there. And overall, my personal opinion, just looking at everything, just from the teaser trailer alone, and just completely cutting everything away from what's going on behind the scenes, etc., the trailer looks good. Like, it's a legitimately interesting trailer. It is about... What I would expect for a trailer. It's kind of showcasing literally the beginning of cell leveling. You get to see the iconic, like, smile of this guy, which, let's be honest, this is one of the most iconic moments of cell leveling that many people meme and use as, like, meme reactions, etc. So, like, when you think about, like, um, th this teaser trailer for cell leveling, it's not bad. It it it's legitimately not. However, obviously, those that have been waiting for the past few days for some form of really good information or news probably would be a little bit upset with this teaser because once again it doesn't really show a whole lot and it really is limited in that fact and it kind of hints at the fact that cell leveling really is just not ready so let's just get into it so basically i think everyone that remembers when soul leveling got announced a while back that it was supposed to come out this year like i want to pull this up this is one of the articles i could find basically talking about when soul leveling was you know kind of announced as anime this literally dates back to 2022 as you can see here in july and you know during a crunch roll industry panel at anime expo 2022 it was basically stated that the anime would be coming out in 2023 aka this year but it's very clear thanks to the information that came out with the teaser trailer today to also this new article that was made, you know, six hours ago by, you know, Crunchyroll, that the series has obviously been pushed back until the beginning of next year for the winter season of anime, aka, you know, winter 2024. So basically, when you look at all these details, it's clear that the series got delayed. Even if we don't know exactly the time frame it was supposed to air this year, it got pushed back. Now, why is that? Let, let's let's cover these details first before I go any further. Why did the series obviously seem to have gotten delayed to some extent? Well, clearly, the obvious one, it's not done. It's not finished. And I think delaying a product if it's not done is obviously a good thing. I, I think everybody can agree on that matter. If something's not done, don't rush it out the gate. Literally, let it cook. You know, let the stuff get done right and then release it. I think everybody would rather a delayed product than a product that is just an absolute mess. And if there is one thing that I think everybody can also agree with when it comes to soul leveling, if you have read the series and you've seen the original art, etc., if there is one thing that this series really needs, truly needs, it is good animation and art. That is honestly the truth. Because a lot of people that read soul leveling, and I'm going to just keep it real, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, read it just for the action. They read it for the beautiful art. That That's the, that's the truth. That It really is. Like, look, the story is a little bit interesting, but overall, people really like the, the Arise stuff to just, you know, the power fantasy to the action, stuff like that. That's the real draw that people love of soul leveling, and there's nothing wrong with that. There is legitimately nothing wrong with that whatsoever, but the real appeal of soul leveling for a lot of people is that. And so if the art and animation is not up to par, it's not going to probably do well. It, all fans of the series are just going to be very upset. That is just a cold, harsh truth of the matter. So, because obviously, you know, of that fact, Soul Leveling has a very high demand. Like, people are really expecting great things from Soul Leveling in terms of that department. However, we got to talk about, you know, the staff listing, etc. So... As we can clearly see, the anime got delayed, and the reason for this, to kind of dive into it a little bit deeper, is that A1 Pictures and Aniplex, the producer, has been obviously having a lot of problems. I have made multiple videos on this topic, it's not necessarily something that has gone unnoticed, so to speak. Everybody's kind of talking about it as of late. For instance, a bunch of anime just from this anime season alone has continuously gotten delayed. Nier is a good example that, you know, got delayed as well. 
and all these projects are basically from, you know, A1 slash Aniplex, and, you know, I've talked about how there's an obvious sign that, you know, this is similar to what happened to 86 that came out, like, a year ago, so, like, when you think about all this, it's just, like, it seems like soul leveling is obviously being affected by everything eternally going on in the studio and also the producer, Aniplex, and it got delayed because of that. This is just systematically a domino effect that's been happening with all these projects and anime that is continuing continuously gotten delayed. And when I think of Soul Leveling Circumstance right now and just how it got delayed till 2024, it really reminds me of 86. And let me explain. 86, I remember when it came out, it was supposed to air one year prior. Like legit, it was supposed to air one year prior of when its first initial episode came out, but obviously A1 Pictures they couldn't put the series out. They couldn't release it because it just didn't. They didn't have the time, they didn't have the, the proper way to actually get it out in time, so it was delayed by a full year. And that whole circumstance is literally eerily similar to solo leveling. It is literally kind of identical. It really is. And I'm just like, okay, when solo leveling finally does release, it might have similar problems to how 86 had. If anyone was watching that series knows, 86 got multiple episode delays, and we were left in limbo, kind of very similar to Uncle from Another World. We didn't know when, like, the next episode, so to speak, would come out. So, yeah, um, overall, the early look is so loving. Like I said, the trailer's good, but only time will tell and how this year goes for A1 and Aniplex if soul leveling will turn out to be good or not. We'll just have to see, but that is definitely something to be reminded of and temper your expectations on the product because, once again, this is very early and this is definitely not showcasing what the series is actually going to look like when it finally arrives in 2024. So, anyways, with that, let's talk about the staff, okay? So, the staff listing that we got today, basically, we got, like, the director and all that right here, and I have him already pulled up, and this is what he's worked on. As you can see, he's worked on, you know, Shingeki no Kyojin, aka Attack on Titan, you know, he's been a second key animator, you know, he's worked on ReZero, which, automatically, if you work on ReZero, you, you're pretty good in my book, honestly. I mean, he's worked on Chainsaw Man, clearly, he's worked on Sword Art Online, he's worked on, you know, more Sword Art Online, he's worked on, you know, a bunch of different series that do have quite the fan base people enjoy and obviously there's some that people might not like as well but overall he has worked on some high profile projects that I don't necessarily think are bad so to say so the director overall I don't think is necessarily a bad choice for so leveling this is legitimately one of the most important roles in my opinion it's not necessarily just the studio. It really does come down to the director. And this director, I don't think is necessarily bad. I, I just, I don't. I don't think he is a bad director. I could be wrong about that if people know more than I know. But he just, yeah, I, I think that is fine. If there's anyone that's probably going to direct something like Soul Leveling and have action, I do think that since he's worked on, let's say, you know, Attack on Titan and even ReZero to an extent and then Chainsaw Man, I think things are going to be A-OK. -okay. But, um, anyways, with that out of the way, yeah, so leveling had also a new key visual, as you can see here. This is a new key visual that came out. I legit do like the key visual. I think it's, you know, if it's so leveling, I, I like the references in here, if you've read the series, the way it looks. So, overall, is it going to be good? It's too early to tell. It legitimately is too early to tell if Soul Leveling will be a good anime or not. I mean, I do think that a lot of people give A1 Pictures a lot of flack. I do know they mess up. I, I know that. And there, it, it, there's not really an excuse for all the stuff that's been going on. Like, I know it's multiple factors behind the scenes. But I do think that uh, automatically wanting to hate on Soul Leveling already... I think it's a little bit too early. I do think it's okay to be worried about the project. I just don't think that, you know, saying it's automatically going to be trash is the best way to go about it. I do think that anyone that is probably working on anime does not want to give you a bad product. And I think that it is good news, it is a good sign that the series did get delayed. I mean, it's also worrying, but it is good news that at the very least it got pushed back. Because, let's be fair here, even though it might still run into some issues... We gotta think of 86. Once again, another good example here. 86 may have been riddled with a lot of problems, but it was a good anime. And A1 Pictures and the staff that worked on that did a great job with 86. And, you know, maybe this could be one of those type of situations. I feel bad that it probably will have production problems, but A1 does put in a lot of effort. And so I think that... 
for now, temper expectations, and we wait for more information as, you know, the year goes on, and also just see what happens with upcoming 8-1 Pictures anime, and, you know, from Aniplex as well. But I'll leave that there for now. If you enjoyed this video, or if it was informative, I gave you any new form of information, etc., you know, do leave me a like on the video. It does help me out a lot, and also let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that, be safe, stay healthy, Chibi out.